feel free to stop me if I'm going too fast. I want to show this, this wonderful layout. Um, I just thought it was so pretty, this technique um, here. Like I said, I hear I did it in the purple. Um, I've done it in the Croptoberfest papers that look like this, <laughs> um, which I just thought were so pretty. Um, I love this, this sunflower paper. And then um, I did one more in the Croptoberfest papers as well. You can do it this way. So just a really pretty technique. Um, just so you know, it uses the deco trimmer. This is called, it's the wavy trimmer. I also used my straight trimmer and a tape runner. And that's how easy it is. Um, you may want to grab a marker to do some chalking, you know, some inking on it. Um, but I will show you that as well. No, so no. Feel, feel free to just watch and learn, or you can do it with me. Um, so let's start. You're going, like I said, you're going to need a double-sided piece of paper. So you want to make sure it has two sides that complement each other. And you're going to need um, the solid paper. I, I took two because I'm going to make a two-page spread. I always like my pages to match across the album. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your straight trimmer and you're going to cut it at three inches. So put your paper at the three inch mark. And I cut just a straight line, three mm -hmm. inches wide. And I'm going to do two of them. So you want two of them at three inches. So I have two exactly the same three inches wide. I'm going to flip one over so they're opposite sides and then put them on top of each other. And then take out your decorative trimmer or your stencil and you're going to put this in your trimmer. We're going to use this this really wavy rocking and rolling wave um, edge to cut it. And what you want to do is put it in so that the edge is actually on a diagonal. Sorry. That's okay. My cat is trying to get my paper. <laughs> so you're going to just, you're going to cut it so that, and, and I'm using this stencil so that you can see, I want it to cut on a diagonal, but I also want to cut both pieces of paper at the same time. So like I said, put one side face up and then on this one, don't, don't do the same face up. You wanna flip it over so it's the opposite face up. Put your papers together and then you're gonna put it in your deco trimmer on an angle. Now I marked my deco trimmer on one side. I marked it on one side of this wave at the, um, uh, what is that? The one and a half inch mark. And on the other side, I marked it on the other side of the, um, the, the, where the blade will go in at the, what is that? The two and a half inch mark. So that's where I wanna put the corners of these papers. So again, they're stacked up perfectly. And I'm gonna put one corner on one of those marks and then the other corner on the other mark. So it's really, in my trimmer on a diagonal, if that makes it sense. And then when I close it, you can see my paper's in there on a diagonal, and then I'm just going to cut it exactly together. There we go. Oh, the weight doesn't want to cut, there we go. And Creative Memory still has blades for these. They're now blue for these trimmers that were out a while ago. They still sell this particular trimmer um, and they do still sell the blades for them. So be, now I um, ran the blade back and forth over this so it cut through both pieces of paper at the same time. And then I'm gonna pull my papers out 
and they should look like this where they're um, I have two diagonal this way and two diagonal the other way. And you can see that some are skinnier than the others. That's okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them over so that this one is going to be with that piece and this one's going to be with this piece. And then when I put my, I'm gonna have my fancier white pumpkin and sunflower paper on top. When I tape it down on top, you're gonna to see the green lines underneath. Here I'll put my piece of yellow underneath. It's hard to see on the mat. So you can see I have two pieces here. I'm gonna take the more decorative one and put it on top. And when I tape it down, these green bumps are going to be perfectly behind the dips of the other paper. So when I do it on this one, I'm going to have the same thing where I have my wavy paper. I'm going to put this piece down. Now, because this is a lot skinnier than this one, you're going to make sure you're going to tape it so that these the bumps of the top piece go in between the bumps, uh, the you know, on the dips of the bottom piece. So you're going to just tape it in place like so. And then you'll have your, your green bumps showing in between the decorative paper. Does that make sense? Yep. So super easy, super fun page. I'm gonna do it again so everybody can see, but I'll quick tape this down. Um, now I didn't, if you can see, I didn't put tape right on the edges because I may wanna curl them a little bit. So if I put this down, I'll tape it down like so, you can see the, one wave is in between the other wave. And then I can kind of just curl it up a little bit. Just like so. And it gives it a little bit more decorative flair under when it's on your page. It looks a little bit more curly on the page. Another thing you can do is you can take these, um, it's just like a little makeup foam square. And you can take a marker any marker, any color, and you can just take the fat end of the marker and run it on one of these foam squares and just to put some ink on it. One of, and I call them, um, it's like a makeup wedge. You can grab these at the dollar store. You can take a little, you know, a clean sponge at home as well. And then you can just, just tap off the extra and then just take the edge of the ink on that a little wedge and just rub it along the edge of your paper and it'll ink the edge of those bumps as well and just gives it another little a little bit more of a finished look and I I need a little bit more ink on there And you can see there's just getting a little bit of ink on the edges of your paper and it just gives it another little dimension to your color. My paper is a little dark so it's harder to see. But if you look on the page I did where it was yellow paper, you could see the ink really well on the lighter colors. So I will show you that again for anybody that missed it. Um, but just to tape it down, you're going to tape it so that the bumps on this edge are in between the bumps on the other paper. Yeah. 
So you have your two edges and then you can put one on one page. And one on the other page. So you can see right now, mine are both going the same way. So, and what I mean is they're both um, going this way. So the next time I uh, tape them down, I'm gonna make two more. I'm gonna tape it so that one's going the other way. So I could actually take this one and tape it down here. And that way I have a different edge to my, um, I want you to be able to see it. <laughs> see? So let me show you again in case anybody missed how to do that. So I um, took my straight trimmer. Hi, Sheila. Um, I took my straight trimmer and I cut two three inch strips. So it's three inches by 12 inches. So I have, I flip one over, put them on top of each other, and then you can cut them with a stencil on a diagonal, or you could cut them with your decorative trimmer. So I took the decorative trimmer And I put them in on at an angle, make sure they're exactly on top of each other. I put them in at an angle. I put one at the one and a half inch, one corner at the one and a half inch mark and the opposite corner at the two and a half inch mark. So that'll tilt it inside my decorative trimmer. I get them to stay on top there. So now it's, see how it's kind of diagonal in my, in my trimmer. It's not cutting it straight across. It's cutting it on an angle. And then when I cut, it's cutting through both pieces of paper. And then when I take them apart, I'm gonna have two this way and I'm gonna have two this way. So what I wanna do is flip them. So I have one that's gonna come this way and one's gonna go this way. And actually I'm gonna flip these over and tape it down like this. So you can see that the, the light green paper, the bumps are in between the dips of the decorative paper, the, the pumpkin color paper. So, and then you're just gonna tape them together. So simple, so easy. Like that. And like that. So simple. And then when you put it on your paper, you're going to just adhere it to the top of your paper as a border. So if I have one over here, like so, and then one over here. Do I do that backwards? There we go. It'd be this way. So that they make a beautiful top to your paper and you have that fluted edge. And I, I would curl it a little bit, like just kind of play with it a little bit so it has more of a 3D um, curled edge to it. It looks a little bit more fluted and doily-like. That's a, Is that a word? <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Thank you.